Hi, I'm Jack, the Cornish Fishmonger, and welcome to the Cornish Fishmonger's Kitchen. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce you to wild sea bass. In my opinion, it really is the king of the sea in the round fish world. Really sought after, really delicious, and an absolutely beautiful fish. I've got one here, this is how it comes to us. Um, as I said, really beautiful. You can see that grain of colours. You've got that dark grey at the top, all the way down to that pure white of the belly. There's a good fishery of sea bass down here in Cornwall. We've got a great relationship with fishermen um, out in Newquay and um, Newlyn, there's a lot of sea bass caught. It's caught predominantly by the hook and line method, so quite simply just a rod and a hook, much like a recreational fisherman would fish. And that is a really great way um, to catch sea bass as it allows the fishermen to see every fish they catch. It doesn't damage them. There is a minimum landing size, so they can put the small ones back. Um, and it's just a great way of landing the best quality fish because every fish is looked after um, as it's caught. It can be fished all year round, um, but there is a pause on the fishing of sea bass during February and March during its spawning season to allow it to replenish um, for years on, which is really, really good news. I love sea bass. We can prepare it in a couple of ways. We've got a whole one here where we've completely scaled it and cleaned out the cavity. This is great for baking whole. So you want to um, stuff it with lemons and herbs or anything that you want really. Get some salt and some water, mix it together, cover it up, bake it in the oven, and it really that salt really protects the fish. It keeps it nice and juicy, nice and moist. A great centerpiece for the table. Um, you're gonna feed four to six people from this size fish. And it's a really great way for a party or friends and family. If you don't want it like that and you just want to enjoy just the fish, we can fillet it. We've got a great team of fishmongers here that can do all the hard work for you. Here I've got um, a boneless or two boneless uh, sea bass fillets, completely scaled. Um, really, really delicious. You don't want to overcomplicate sea bass. It's got a great flavour and a great texture. So I would just say simply pan fried with maybe some buttered new potatoes or some greens because you just want to let the fish speak for itself. If you want any ideas on how to enjoy either preparations of sea bass, do just hop onto our website, have a look around, or pick up the phone and give us a call. We're always happy to help.